Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Trauma Team. We left off. I just reloaded the game, and we're here in his office. And we're missing a symptom by the sounds of it. So let's go back to the exam room. Alright, so I think we got everything. Everything from the questions, stethoscope, diagnostic. Let's try to. I guess we'll go back to EKG. Let's see. Oh my god, are you serious? How did I not notice that? Someone should have slapped me in the face and say, You're a retard. The Q waves are too deep. How did I not this notice a negative a Q heart. wave? Oh my god. Well, write that down somewhere. Why didn't you guys tell me in the last episode? Oh my god. I've appreciated it. <laughs> well. Looking at the symptoms until now, there seems to be an abnormality in the myocardium. Roni, get us approval for an x-ray. Yes, Doctor. Beginning the approval process. Yay, x-ray! Request complete. The x-ray That was really fast. Let's go check it out. Abnormality in the myocardium. The x-ray results are in. Please examine the images, Doctor. All right. Let's take a look at them. Let us take a look. I must explain the details of this examination. Okay. An X-ray examination is the most common radiography. Using uh -huh. electromagnetic radiation called X-rays, it can produce images of the inside of the human body. Uh -huh. You don't say. I can't believe I'm getting lectured on X-rays. <laughs> Basically, use a different wavelength of light in order to see the inside of our bodies. Okay. That is definitely a big difference. Oh man. His heart's too large. There's definitely an abnormality after all. To look at the movement of the myocardium, an echocardiogram would be ideal. Hey, Roni, you think you'll sit through the exam? Doctor, I'm required to remind you that a patient's consent oh my God. is before the exam. He's friggin' gonna die. <laughs> uh, so, say that. like, why wouldn't he well, Say, well, he's narrowed down the list of candidates why wouldn't he say yes? need to persuade him. But let's try going to the exam room, just in case. Alright. He has a big heart. Aww. That asshole has a big heart. <sighs> Too bad it would kill him if he had it. <laughs> Alright, let's go convince the old geezer to get an echocardiogram. So, we found an abnormality in your heart after uh -huh. And that means our next step is to proceed with echocardiography. I refuse. How dare you treat me like some leper? Uh, we're not treating you bad in case you didn't know. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Stubborn as usual. <laughs> well, then let's talk about your past. What happened to you two years ago? <laughs> so you aren't going to tell me about that either, huh? Nothing. Well then, I'm stumped. Guess I'll have to find a hint from the information I've got. What the hell are you talking about? I don't get it. What am I supposed to do now? It gives me nothing, man. Doctor, you have no choice but to check the symptoms against the candidates and look for clues. Yep. Man, even you seem tolerable after dealing with that guy. I do not understand what you He's mean. an asshole! <laughs> uh, never mind. Come on, let's start the diagnosis. My god, Roni. My god. Alright. Uh, aortic dissection. A condition in which the blood flows between the three layers of the aorta, causing one or more layers to come off. This occurs in the chest. The patient complains of severe chest pain. Does he have chest pain? Yes, he does. Back pain? X-ray of the chest will show that the heart has become enlarged. Enlarged heart. And a doubled layer of the aorta can be confirmed through the CT exam. It is not that one. Dilated cardiomyopathy. A condition in which the heart becomes enlarged. Weakening the myocardium's movements. Wow, I went all the way down there. Initial stages present no subjective systems, but as per chest pains and dyspnea. Yeah. 
these two. We'll begin. S3 and S4 can be heard through assaultation of the heart sounds, and discontinuous sounds can be heard in respiration if there is a pulmonary congestion. Abnormal Q waves and negative T waves will be present in the EKG. In an x-ray below, an analysis provide high BNP and low blood pressure. Well, the symptoms seem to all add up. Huh. Dilated cardiomyopathy. That's one serious disease. No kidding. It must be done to determine the presence of enlarged left ventricle. Yeah, we'll need some strong evidence if we're going to convince him. Wait, a relevancy to viral myocarditis. Don't tell me that's what happened two years ago. Hmm. Should we return to the examination room? Yeah, damn old geezer. This isn't funny. The exact cause of this disease is unknown, but a current theories note a relevancy to viral myocarditis. So he has like a virus in his heart. That is not funny. <laughs> not funny at all. You don't want to mess with your heart, man. You again, you quack. I will not let Who you call you a quack. Yeah, that's fine. I've got a plan this time too. A what? What kind of scheme are you running here? I don't know. Just toying with the thought of leaking some interesting facts to the press. Huh? A certain politician who had viral myocarditis two years ago and collapsed due to heart disease. Really? What? What with you bastard? How the hell do you know about? Bingo, huh? So it was viral myocarditis then. What? Don't tell me. <laughs> you got tricked. You... Owned. Hmm? Oh yeah, I lied to you. I needed confirmation that it was indeed viral myocarditis two years ago. You bastard! How dare you! Who do you think? How I dare I try to cure you? I'm not putting up with this any longer. I'm leaving. <laughs> hey! Shut the hell up! I will not hear another word out of you. That's oh, it. Oh, we. I'm snapping. I'm snapping. Huh? Now you listen to me. It doesn't matter who you are or what kind of powers you have. I'm a doctor. And as long as you're sitting in front of me, you're nothing more than a Take patient. that, fool! Now, if you understand me, then shut up and let me do my job. <sighs> Roni, send a request for echocardiography. We've got a date with the image analysis lab. Request sent, Doctor. Yeah, Gabriel. Gabriel. That's right. You sit there and take it like a little pansy. Piece of crap, asshole, douchebag. Can't believe I'm even helping you. Roni, is the echocardiogram ready? Yes, Doctor. It is ready for you to review. All right, so we have to check All for right. Let's take a look enlarged start. left ventricle. Doctor Cunningham, I will now provide you with more information on this examination. Echocardiography is a technique of using ultrasonic waves to form an image of the heart. This examination is a safe and essential tool for observing heart irregularities. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks, I had no idea. <laughs> it was my decision to run this exam on him, but whatever. Doctor, I'm sorry, did oh, you nothing, say something? Nothing. No, no, carry on. Alright, okay. Notice anything? I don't know. Let's keep looking. Nope, I don't see anything there. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> it seems larger. The ventricle. Just as I thought. The left ventricle is enlarged. Oh, Rony, you got that? Jeez, it's even worse than I imagined. New symptom observed. Large left Large ventricle. Left ventricle. Dunno. Let's get back to my office and decide on a diagnosis. Yeah, that's the like the huge ventricle hole. Like it's large. Okay. Let's diagnose this biatch. So 
there. I'm sorry to tell okay. you. Okay, we got all the but... symptoms, Roni. It's time to decide on a diagnosis. Yes, Doctor. Please narrow down the possible diagnosis candidate. Well, we already know what it is, man. It's this one. Diagnosed! -da -da. Dilated cardiomyopathy. So it is dilated cardiomyopathy. Looks like the worst case scenario has come true. Oh, poor guy. Diagnosis complete. Well done, doctor. Shall we notify the patient? Yeah. I'll uh, tell him myself. Oh my god, my friend wants to play League. <sighs> okay. So. So, have you found out what's yes, wrong I've with me Yes, I found yet? out what's wrong with you. Uh, well, yeah. So what is it, son? What's wrong with me? Dilated cardiomyopathy. It's a disease where the heart muscle weakens. Huh. The myocarditis from two years ago is the likely cause of it. Uh, is it curable? When can I get back to the office? There's a 50% chance you'll last five years. Huh. Ten years, maybe 30%. You need a heart transplant. Stop worrying about work. Don't be ridiculous! Listen up, son. This country's in a pretty tight spot. Shut up. It won't last without the honest folk at the range guiding it. Please, I love this nation, and I need to help save it. <sighs> Unfortunately, saving your life will have to come first. Take my advice. Move out to the country and wait for a donor. Assistant Secretary Tillman has cardiomyopathy. Yeah. Can't we do anything? Maybe beta blockers or angiotensin. <laughs> you want someone who could die any second running the country? Uh. He may live, but his political career is over. We can't do anything? He's so passionate about his work. Poor guy. Medicine has its limits, and passion doesn't save lives. If that's all, I'm gonna get going. Oh, uh, wait. I need to talk to you about Joshua. Shouldn't you be talking to the kid's family? But you are his family? Isn't Joshua your son, Doctor? Boy hardly knows my face. It's not much of a father. But, Dr. Cunningham. It's over. Sometimes you need to learn when to give up. <laughs> that is really sad. That is so sad. <sighs> and my thing stopped responding. Why you no work? Come back to me. Uh, it actually seriously stopped working. Oh my god. Hmm. Alright, well I guess I'll end it off here anyway. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.